She can dance, act, and even write. You might know our next guest from her breakthrough leading role in the live action Monster High film franchise. Joining us is actress Lila Fitzgerald. You've been in so many movies. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on. Do you have a favorite of the movies and TV shows that you've done? Oh, that's really hard. I would say probably my favorite thing I've ever done is one releasing in March, Lucky Hank. Tell us more about that project. What's it about? So it follows Hank, who is played by Bob Odenkirk, who is absolutely amazing dream come true to work with him um as he has a midlife crisis basically at an underfunded college and it follows the english department and some of the students and just the craziness that ensues well we're looking at the video while you're talking and you're right that looks really good it's called lucky hank so that out soon talk about monster high it's been renewed for another movie what can you tell us about that project so I can't spoil too much about the next movie, uh, but I will say that everything has been stepped up a level. The dances and the songs have just been taken to the next level. So already the first movie, I think we created something magical, something kids will love. And now with the second one, I think everyone's just attacking things even harder. The cast is back, we're ready, and everyone's just wanting to make a beautiful movie. Lila, I was researching you, you're a ballerina. Has that helped you with that role? Yes, definitely. I um, I love classical ballet. That being said, it's very, very different from commercial style dance. So doing dance in film and television has been a bit of a you know reset with my dancing to pick up that style. But ballet has given me the basics, the ability to pick up choreo and technique that lets me jump into it feet first and just go for it. All right, you are a busy girl. In your downtime, you don't rest, you write. Tell us about your new book. It's called Stars and Swashbucklers. Yes, so my debut novel will be releasing April 4th. Um, I'm very excited about it. It is set in a futuristic fantasy world where the Earth has shattered into islands floating between the stars. So I'm big into pirates, and it basically follows one girl on her sailing trip across the islands so she's sailing through the stars instead of the ocean <laughs> as she learns how to become a privateer and deals with magical nightmares and comes into her own lila with all you're doing why writing what inspired you to write this book specifically was inspired by a very cool dream i had that i just started writing down and it turned into a book but in general with writing i think for me I've been acting since I was seven years old. I've been telling other people's stories basically my whole life, and I love doing that. But I kind of felt like it was time for me to create my own story, to be in control, and to get to be the leader, the director what of what's happening in my own world. And for me, Stars and Swashbucklers was that. I wanted to be, you know, the one telling the story this time. I'm excited to check out the book. Where can our viewers get it? So Stars and Swashbucklers will be available to order on Amazon. You can order it through Barnes & Noble. You can order it through Indigo if you're in Canada, like me. Uh, really, anywhere that you can order books, you can get mine. And follow her on social media, Lila Fitzgerald, for all of her future projects. Lila, thank you so much for joining us. Take care. Thank you so much. Have a good day.